Today, we are going to solve this fantastic equation. 3 to the power of x equals x to the power of 9. Hmm, how should we solve it? Look, x and 9 are the exponents. So what shall we do? Hmm, maybe I'm going to say we can take natural logs on both sides. Yes, we can. However, hmm, I'm not going to do that, okay? We have another way and another better way. Since they're the exponents, now what I'm going to do is to take the reciprocals as powers on both sides. That means, okay, firstly, I like to take 1 over x as a power on the both sides. That means I'm going to take 1 over x power on both sides. Since we have a formula, that is, a to the power of m, then to the power of n, equals a to the power of m times n. So now we can use that, can we? So we have 3 to the power of x times 1 over x is 1. So 3 equals x to the power of 9 over x. Hmm, still ugly. The left hand side is okay, however, the right hand side, this could be a problem. This 9 on the numerator. Okay, so what shall we do? Now we have another choice. That is, take 1 over 9th power on the both sides. So it is 3 to the power of 1 over 9 equals x to the power of 9 over x to the power of 1 over 9. Then you can see it is good. 3 to the power of 1 over 9 equals x to the power of the exponent will be 9 over x times 1 over 9. It is 1 over x. Okay. Now you can see x to the power of 1 over x. Hmm, a very good form. However, the left hand side, 3 to the power of 1 over 9. It doesn't have the form something to the power of its reciprocal. Okay, so we hope that the left hand side, 3 to the power of 1 over 9, can also be written in this form something to the power of 1 over it. Okay, let's do it. How? 3 to the power of 1 over 9. This 1 over 9 can naturally be, be written as 3 over 27. Can it? And then, this exponent is 3 times 1 over 27. According to this formula, a to the power of m times n equals a to the power of m, then all to the power of n. So now I have a is 3, the base. This is m, this is n. So, magic. So that means it is this. And 3 over 3 is 27. So this is 27 to the power of 1 over 27. Oh, the left hand side has already been written in this form. Something to the power of its reciprocal. So that means 27 to the power of 1 over 27 equals x to, to the power of 1 over x. So what can we get? x is simply, easily, equal to 27. And that will be the answer. x equals 
27. Did you get it? Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to me. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.